Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a video on my 2020 current luxury wish list. Um, I took a poll on my Instagram between this and a luxury shoe collection and I thought the shoe collection was going to win but this one won by a landslide. I think only like one person voted for the shoes so I don't know. So this is what I'm doing but um, I know I already did a video like this. It was like a get ready with me video but I don't know this one I felt like I would just sit down and talk to you guys and just tell you about my current wish list. So I'm gonna do handbags first because I know that's what most people are interested in and then um, I have a couple shoes as well that um, I'm gonna talk about but if you guys don't care about the shoes then you can just turn it off at that point. So, um, yep, if you guys um, like these kind of videos, luxury videos, um, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed to my channel and gave this video a thumbs up and left a comment. So, if you guys want to see what's on my wish list, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first bag on my wish list is the YSL Lulu Black Puffer Bag in the medium size. So, um, I've wanted this bag for a while now. Um, I think this bag might be the next bag that I'm going to be adding to my collection. I'm not totally sure, but this one, I think this one might be the next one. Um, I just feel like it would be really cute for the winter. I feel like it would go really well with all the outfits that I normally wear in the winter. I wear a lot of black and I wear a lot of neutrals. Um, I just really like the look of the puffer bag. I know it's not for everybody. I know a lot of people think that it's like, um... I know a lot of people think that it looks kind of like a puffer coat because it does. It's puffer puffer bag. <laughs> um, but um, I feel like, I don't know, I just like kind of like interesting bags like that, kind of extra stuff like that. So it's definitely for me. Um, I definitely love it a lot. It's not too out there, but it just has like a little extra than the regular Lulu. So that's why I like it. Um, I would get it with the silver hardware, um, and I just, I don't know, I really like it. I've never had a bag from, or I have, I've never had a bag from St. Laurent, but I have had, um, one Balenciaga bag, but that was the only other bag that I had from a fashion house other than Louis Vuitton. So, I ended up selling the Balenciaga bag, and now all my bags are Louis Vuitton, so I think it definitely would be good for my collection to get something from a different fashion house, um, and try something new. Um, so yeah, I'm not saying for sure because I don't know. I change my mind literally like every day, but I think this one might be the next one that I'm going to add. The next bag on my wish list is the Louis Vuitton on the go tote in the GM size, um, in just the regular giant monogram. So, um, I'm obsessed with this bag. I love big bags. I love totes. Like you guys know that. I just talk about that on my channel all the time. So, Obviously, I'm going to want the on-the-go tote. It's the new one. It's so popular. It's blown up. Um, and I really love it. I feel like I would use it as an everyday bag. I would get so much use out of it. Um, I love how it has the handles and then the shoulder straps as well. Um, I just love how big it is. That's why I like the GM and I really, really like it. The only thing with the on the go that's kind of holding me back is the price point. I feel like it has a really high price point for what it is. I know that the, all of their newer bags are kind of having a higher price point right now. Um, and I, I don't know, it's just, it's canvas. So that's the only thing like, you know, like I'm thinking I could get the Lulu bag, which is all leather that is even less than the on the go is and I don't know I just but I you guys know how I'm obsessed with Louis Vuitton that's literally what my channel is about so I just really really want the on the go tote because I think it's so cute like this is the only bag that I've ever seen like really up there like in that price point that I've been like no like I'm gonna end up getting that bag like for sure so I just don't know when I'm gonna get it I, I might get that one next if I decide to but I just do have a lot of totes already the Lulu bag would be a lot different in my collection whereas the on the go would kind of just like fit in with all the Louis Vuitton all the totes all the shoulder bags all of that stuff but I just am so obsessed with it because it's just so me and it's so cute and it's like the new it bag and I just I don't know that one's on I, I just I can't decide so that's why I have no idea which one of these bags I'm gonna get next but I think it's definitely going to be one of these first three that I'm about to name. So the Lulu, the on the go, and then this next one that I'm about to talk about. So the next one that I'm about to talk about is the Louis Vuitton Neo Noé. And I 
did not want the Neo Noir for the longest time. It's been out for years. When it first came out, I really liked it because it was the first time I saw black and monogram together, like the black leather with the monogram. And I was like, that's so cool. You don't have to worry about the Viquetta. I really like that. But I was never really big on bucket bags. So I, that's why I never got it. But then I was watching Jerusha's unboxing of it and I, she just made it look so good. Like her whole, the way that she had it styled, like I just thought it looked so cute. And she had the camel with the monogram and I was obsessed with it. So I immediately was like, yeah, I started watching videos on it, other videos. I really ended up liking it and thinking about adding it to my collection. But I can't decide whether I want to add it in the black with monogram or the camel with monogram because I think the camel is so beautiful. Um, but the black, I feel like I want to add a black bag or a bag with black into my collection because I don't have any right now. Um, so I just am really on the fence. I just have to go try them on and look at them and decide because... I don't know yet. Like all of these bags, I am just so on the fence about. I don't know which one I like more than the other. Some of them I'm in between with colors. So I don't know. But these are definitely just bags that these three, the Neo Noir On The Go and the Lulu are definitely bags that I'm going to add into my collection eventually one way or another. I'm pretty sure. So yeah. All right. The next bag I have on my wish list is the Louis Vuitton Maida. If that's how you pronounce it, I have no idea. But um, it is the one with the Damier Bean. And then there's one with a, like a maroon leather part. I'll put a picture in of it. And then there's one with a um, khaki leather top as well. And I have not seen this bag in person. I have never seen anybody try on this bag. I just have seen like the website pictures of it. And I really like how it looks on the website. But I have no idea how it looks in person. What I really do like about it is a bean is my favorite canvas. So I love that it's a bean and I love that it has leather on it as well. And I love that it's a hobo bag because I really like hobo bags. Um, it has the regular top strap that a hobo bag would have. And then it also has a long cross body strap. I don't think I would ever end up using that strap at all. But um, from how it looks, I just really love the look at it. It seems right up my alley. But... I don't know I have to try it on at the store because I have heard things about that bag being huge so I would definitely have to look at it in person and then that one again since it does have the leather it has a bit of a higher price point but like I said it does have the leather so that kind of makes sense for that price point I think it's like 26 just like the on the go is so um but yeah, that one's kind of on the back burner for me as of right now. I think I definitely want the first three that I talked about more than I want the Mida. I think I think I would definitely buy the on the go before I would buy the Mida for sure. Um, yeah, and then between that and the Neo Noe, I don't really know. See, that's why I'm so confused with this whole wish list. But yeah, definitely that one's not at the top of my list, but it's definitely on my list for sure. The next bag on my wish list is a bag that I don't think I'm going to get at all. But I just wanted to throw it on here because it's still on my wish list just in case I come along some great deal for it on like the pre-loved market or something but as of right now I don't think that's going to happen because I think it's even higher priced on the pre-loved market because it's really hard to find but it is the Chanel denim flat bag I'm pretty sure it's the size large it's the largest size that they make in that bag I think they call it just the large but um in either the green the blue or the blackish gray so I just I love this bag it's like that ombre kind of tie-dye denim bag I just I think it looks so cute the fabric Chanel bags I like how slouchy they are um and it has a really good price point for Chanel but it has a crazy price point for a fabric bag because it's like $3,500 or something crazy like that but so that's why I don't think I could drop that on a bag um I mean I could but I I would if I could but I can't so you know what I mean so um yeah if I I don't know it's just I I just want to keep it on my wish list because I love that bag so much I just feel like I would rather add a couple other bags to my collection than like just that one like you know like I would rather get like the Lulu and the Neon Away instead of just buying that one because that would kind of like 
come around to be the same price. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I'm just keeping it on my wish list just in case magically in a few years people stop liking that bag and they show up on the pre-love market and they're like half the price I would snag it in a second. But I just love it so much so that's why I'm keeping it on my wish list. The next thing on my is a SLG. It is actually a wallet. It's the Clements wallet. So I um, want the version with the monogram and the rose ballerine interior. I love the rose ballerine interior. I think it's so pretty. Um, and I want it because I want all of my SLGs to match. So I have the monogram clay and the Kiragami pouch, the medium that I carry every day. Um, right now I have a um, zippy wallet that is vernis pink and I... I don't know, I just really want a monogram wallet. I really like how the Clements wallet is a really good price point and I really like how it is a little bit shorter than the Zippy wallet. Um, and it still pretty much holds the same amount. It has the cash slots, the card holders, all of that stuff. So I don't know, I um, just really like it and I think I will definitely, definitely be adding that one very soon. So those were all the handbags and SLGs on my wish list. Um, I am about to go into shoes right now, luxury shoes that are on my wish list. So if you guys are interested in that, the first shoe that I want for this upcoming season is the Louboutin Socate Ankle Booties. And with the 100 millimeter heel in the black leather, um, they're just plain black pointed toe ankle booties. Um, they come in leather in the Socate version. I think there's another version called the Eloise, if I'm not mistaken, that has, um, it's basically the same thing in suede. Um, I'm not sure whether I would get the leather or the suede. Um, I would have to see, but I just really want a pair of black ankle booties. I have ankle booties right now that all have like chunky, um, short chunky heels, but I really want a pair with like a high stiletto heel. I feel like it would dress up a ton of my outfits. I feel like I would wear it all the time. It would go with a bunch of the things that I wear in the winter. Um, I wear a lot of leggings and sweaters and I feel like it would just dress up the look so much. So I really, really want to add um, a pair of Louboutin booties to my collection because all of my Louboutins that I have um, are stilettos. Basically the only two that I actually wear are peep toes. So they're basically only for the summer. So I really want a pair of red bottoms that I can wear in the winter. And the next shoes on my wish list are these Fendi boots. And I put a poll on my Instagram about these boots and like 60% of the people said no. And like 40% of the people said yes. So I don't know, something like that. It could have been a little bit more on either. I think it was a little bit more no actually, but they're very interesting. I have no idea if I actually like them because I haven't seen them in person. But from what I saw online, they look like they're about calf high and they have the Fendi logo on them and they have a little heel and I just, they look a little sporty and I don't really like that. I wish they were just a regular calf high just boot with a short little heel, but they don't have anything like that this season. So these are the closest boots to what I would want and the thing is they kind of look like they're made of like a neoprene like scuba diving suit material but I and they look like they kind of wrap around your leg but I don't know I just really want a pair of cute little heeled calf high boots and I love the Fendi logo so I'm gonna go look at them actually today I think after I'm done filming this video um but I saw a picture of them in a different color in like the plain black on like a model on the website and it looked really weird. And they call them the ankle booties, but they look like they're calf high to me. But I don't know, I didn't like the way they looked on the model. If they look on me how I expect them to look, then I'm gonna like them. But if they look how they looked on the picture, cause I feel like they, strap them really tight in the picture and I don't like them super tight. I would want them to be kind of loose. I don't know. It's hard to explain. If I go try them on before I edit this video, I will insert a clip and tell you guys what I think of them. But they could definitely very easily be coming off of my wish list as fast as they came on. But I, I don't know. I, uh, I just really want a pair of like calf high boots like that so and I love the Fendi logo I would love a pair of Fendi boots so we'll see this is a very like tentative item on my wish list um the next thing on my wish list is these Louis Vuitton I don't know exactly what they're called but they're like Louis Vuitton Uggs 
they're not like made by Ugg or anything. They just look like Uggs and I love Uggs. Like I live in my Uggs all winter. I have like two pairs of Uggs and I wear them to the grocery store. I, I hate being cold. So I wear them to the grocery store. I wear them out to run errands, like all that stuff. But I don't wear them like when I'm doing anything where I like want to look cute because like, you know, they're Uggs. So if I, these Louis Vuitton ones are like, they have the shearling and they have um, like the shearling folded over and then the, they're black shearling and Ugg and material the suede. And then they have, um, like the LVs in the shearling but in white so they really stand out and I don't know I think they're really cute like if I could find a way to make Uggs like luxury and fashionable and I could wear them and get away with wearing them to like nicer things because they're like super cool Louis Vuitton Uggs I would definitely do that they seem like they would be great for me so that is definitely something that I'm gonna look into for sure. And then the last thing on my wish list is really vague. Um, it's just a pair of luxury sneakers. I want kind of something like the Louis Vuitton front row sneakers or the Gucci um, Ace sneakers or maybe Fendi or like something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I've heard a lot of um, conflicting things about the comfort of all of these shoes. So if you guys know a pair of luxury sneakers that you think are amazing and you think that I should try out, please leave it in the comments below because I don't know exactly what I want, but I'm looking for a pair and I would definitely be open to suggestions. All right, so that's everything on my wish list for this year. Um, I know there were a couple things on my last wish list that are not on it anymore. Um, and if you guys are interested, I'll just tell you really quick what I took off and why. So the first thing I took off of my wish list was the Chanel boy bag in the medium size in the navy blue with the champagne gold hardware. So I took this off of my wish list just because the price point of Chanel is crazy right now. I think they're like 6000 something for these boy bags. Like I would definitely not spend that. I do not like the bag that much. Like if somebody gave it to me, I would definitely use it. But it's also really small. I don't, in the medium size, it's, I, I don't know. I just don't even think that, it was just a bag that I liked the way it looked. But I don't think it would make any sense for me money wise or even look wise or size wise well look wise yes but size wise no to add it to my collection so I didn't even bother keeping that on there it's just another thing on there that I'm just not ever going to get and then the next thing that I took off was the Louis Vuitton Alma BB in the world tour version with the black leather I was so sad to take this off of my wish list because I think that bag is so cute like I said with the Neo Noé I love the black and monogram and I just really wanted this bag, but I just realized that the Alma BB is way too small for me. I carry around so much stuff. Um, I like I even have a hard time sometimes like with my graceful PM like that it gets really full. So I definitely the Alma like I already have my Eva clutches like my small going out like carry like a card, a lipstick and my cell phone bag. That's my Eva clutch. So I don't need another bag like that if I'm going to buy another bag. I'm gonna wanna buy something that I can put all of my everyday stuff in. So unfortunately, I took that one off my wish list, even though I still think it's so cute and I wish that it would work out for me, but I really don't think that it would. And then the last thing I took off was the mini pochette. So I got the Kiragami pouches um, recently. If you guys saw my unboxing and I am using the medium one for everything that I would use the mini pochette for, just like kind of like a catch all. And I love it so much and it's working out great. So I don't think I need the mini pochette anymore. Um, if there's like a limited edition one or something that I end up liking in the future, I will definitely maybe get that. But as of right now, I am totally happy with my Kiragami and my whole SLG catch-all situation. So yep, that's everything on my wish list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.